In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the building blocks of 3D scenes. Okay, so there's a few different parts that create a 3D scene in Nuke. One of the nodes will be a card, a scene, a camera, and a scanline render. Now, most of the time, what you're going to see with this type of stuff, now it doesn't always happen this way, is that you've got some footage that you track, and then from the track, a camera is created. And then you can go ahead and add other things like a card, the scene, and the scanline render. So the camera kind of comes first if you're working at it from a tracked footage standpoint. But it doesn't always have to be that way. You can have 3D geometry and animate a 3D camera through something like that. So a card is a type of object that contains 2D information, but it can be placed in 3D space. This is what we're going to be using for our composite, but a lot of times you may use a fully 3D object instead of just a card that has a picture placed on it. You can think of a card kind of as the 3D system in After Effects, where basically everything kind of has that two and a half D feel. So you take a regular, you know, 2D image in After Effects, make it a 3D layer, and then you've kind of got this plane that you can move back and forth in 3D space. That's what we'll be working with today. A scene is something that puts all your items into kind of a container. Think of it as a bucket for all your 3D objects. So a scene is how you're going to be able to kind of combine everything together. A camera captures the viewpoint you'd like everything to be rendered from. So once you have done your 3D tracking of your shot, you create your camera, and then everything will be viewed from that uh, point in 3D space. And then you have the scanline render. And this is a node that flattens everything into a 2D viewable image. So you can notice that kind of all of these nodes here are round, and that means that they're 3D nodes. You gotta go back to the square nodes, which mean that they're 2D nodes, to be able to actually start manipulating and uh, using some of these things in 2D space again which is like where you would actually render it out from, you know, at, as a video. So to be able to get it to that point, you need your scan line render. So let's go ahead and jump to our next clip where I'm going to show you how to actually do a camera track so that we can create a camera and then begin adding in some of these elements. So join me in the next clip for 3D camera tracking.